guys welcome back to my youtube channel hi guys welcome back so in today's video we are gonna be talking about assumptions that persons had about me hmm i wonder what those assumptions person had when they just met me guys before i even jump into the video this video is sponsored by a black owned business in jamaica which is called uh, Sims Apparel. They sell a variety of t-shirt designs. I am actually wearing one right now, guys. This is so cool. I love this t-shirt. I'm wearing a size small. It fits me perfect. It hugs my body. The design and the print is so vivid. I love the quality of it. This one says the land of wood and water and then there's Jamaica right here guys you gotta go check them out head over to their Instagram page right now which is sims underscore para and not only do they do adult clothing guess what they do kids their kids site is called pick me store and more what am I saying pick me store and more go check it out so I will put their link below in the description box and I put it on the screen right now so you can go on instagram and check them out also not because they're in jamaica that they only like start sell to persons who are in jamaica they actually ship abroad like i literally got my t-shirt within three or four days of the order being shipped so they ship pretty quick and they ship overseas so don't be discouraged if you're like, oh, I'm not in Jamaica, I can't get a shirt. Guys, you can, they'll ship to you. So yeah, go ahead and check out Sims underscore apparel, pick the store and more, and just support these black owned businesses. Like, we gotta support each other. So yeah, go check it out. The shirt is super cute, go get you one. Anyways, guys, if you are interested to know what those assumptions are, then, just keep watching. what these assumptions are so the first one is you have so much confidence in how you speak and in your walk like you better work it girl hell yeah I do I'm a very confident person I I, I just love myself so I don't know it's, you can see it in how I speak in how I walk and how I act in my personality like I'm just like a bubbly ray of sunshine. So, thumbs up to who said that. That's so true about me. All right, the second one is you are cute even when you look serious all the time. Okay, so where this is coming from, I have a mean mug face. Like, if you see me in person, I am just like all the time. And it's because, I don't know, I just. There's nothing to be laughing and just walking like a crazy person. I just, it's just not my personality. But if you get to talk to me, get to know me more, then you'll see that I'm a fun person. But a lot of persons are like intimidated by how serious I look. They feel like I'm mean and I'm not approachable. And I'm like, I'm a nice person. I just, I don't know, I'm just serious all the time. Like, I don't, I don't know. For people who walk around and just like wobbly and smart, that's not me. I, I wish that was me, but I don't know. I just look serious. I'm just like, <laughs> I can't even do it. My face is just serious, but if you guys know me, I'm a cool chick. All right, the third one is you're conceited. Okay, I will say that I am conceited, but not conceited in the way where I throw it in your face. I just have so much confidence in myself. Like, you can't tell me that I am not everything like i am the shinizzle i can't say the word i want to use on youtube but i just love me i love my personality i love my life i love the struggles that i go through like i'm just like 
full of me i'm happy i'm chirpy like if that makes me conceited but then yeah i'm conceited and in love with me so yeah i guess i'm conceited all right so another one is you look you look like you act stush you know how to keep malice and seems like you cut people off in a heartbeat okay i need to work on that i'm not gonna lie i do like i will cut someone off like like that like if you cross me i'm just like i don't have time for this i am grown and i just i just i'm just over it it's it's good and it's bad at the same time i don't know my personality my mom tried to like talk to me sometimes like you need to like calm down not like cut everybody off like when you cut everybody off you're gonna end up being by yourself but i'm like i don't know like if you upset me and you like piss me off or you just like just get on my nerves or you say something that's hurtful or you want to be argumentative i'm just like yeah i don't have time for that like yeah so i'm working on it i'm working on giving people chances i'm so bad at giving people chances i don't know why i'm just i'm horrible at it but i'm working on it it's a work in progress okay okay all right the next one is you were so real conversations were easy you're not you're an awesome girl oh thank you so much you get to know me then you know that i am an easy person to talk to i love conversations i'm a talker like i sometimes i need to shut up but i'm a talker just get me started and you'll see how easy it is to talk to me like you don't need to be scared away by my serious face like trust me i'm more bubbly than this face looks I promise all right number six you're taken what where by who ring on this finger like an actual ring there's taken weird taken weird everybody assumed that about me i'm like by who who who, who is he <laughs> how come he hasn't contacted me as yet since i'm taken like you you know more than than i do like <laughs> i wish <laughs> <laughs> all right someone says davia tiny <laughs> basically this person saying that i'm very petite i am like i might insert a picture but back in those days oh my god i was super 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 slim it, it yeah yeah not my best days but the older that i got the more i started gaining weight and after having my daughter i started putting that weight but back then i was like mm, mm. I looked like I wasn't eating food and I was eating a lot of food. I just I just have a high metabolism that is hard to gain weight. Like I wish I could put on weight like that, but I can't. The moment I eat, it just goes away. So yeah, back then I was super tiny. Like I think I was like a hundred and nine pounds. And now I'm like 135 so I think so you get old when you get old you gain weight you get a tummy too so yeah look out for that you're getting old all right another person said you only wear designer clothes why are you people lying why 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 not lying wear what designer clothes I wish we did wear designer clothes this is the only designer clothes I wear is fashion over that's the whole thing I don't wear no designer clothes whatsoever. I am the type of person that loves to shop within her means and I like affordable stuff, cute affordable stuff. Stuff. So like my stores that I shop at is like Ross Dress for Less, Forever 21, Charlotte Rose, Fashion Nova and so forth. But no, I don't wear designer clothes. I might, it might look that way because of how I put it together and vibranting but no I'm gonna reach this for you one day all right the next person is you are so elegant confident and sure of yourself but of course 
if me not confident or if me not sure myself or not be sure of me i have to but thank you for seeing that in me i don't know over the years i got older and i started gaining this confidence i didn't have it back then but you know i just said to myself like this is me this is who i am if i don't love me who's gonna love me so yeah that's that sure you know the way i walk the way i talk the way i go on like yeah confidence is key it will take you to a lot of places in life trust me all right the next one is you're very private with your relationship <laughs> i am so a lot of person wonder if are you single are you taken are you single are you taken I just like to keep my relationship off social media. I remember putting my relationship on social media back in the past and it just, it, it's just an awesome miss. Because it's like you flood your timeline with all these pictures of you and that person and then when I broke up, I delete it and then everybody know. So I, I stopped doing that years ago. So only my close friends or my family will know if I'm in a relationship. The only time anybody else will know is if I get married they no post the picture other than that i'm gonna remain private i'm not too fast it's so the next assumption you are always foreign minded that is so true from i was in jamaica i said to my sister that we're gonna live in the states like i am not staying in jamaica don't get me wrong i love jamaica it's just that there wasn't a lot of opportunity there for me and it's with me traveling from I was in college constantly, I, I just, I don't know, I just said like the States is where I want to be. And then growing up, I was like, I'm going to live in the States one day. And with the grace of God, I finally accomplished that. So yeah, I, I was always fine minded, but I still love Jamaica. I love my yard. Jamaica, my born and grew up. Rip it all the time, in you know, my necklaces. My, I'm not sure, like, I'm Jamaica. I always have to remember where you come from, so be up yourself, Jamaica. All right, so another assumption is, are you a flirt? Um, me? No. When was I ever a flirt? Listen, man, I'm a good girl. Flirt with who? <laughs> Why are you people trying to set me up? No, I, I am not a flirt. I'm a good girl. Yeah, let's leave it at that. I'm a good girl. Mm -hmm. All right, and then the last one is, I thought you were a model. Wish me was a model. Honestly, God, when I was in high school, they had like a model agency that came and then they want to book me. But my mother said no, she never trust it. And because of that, I never become a model. But I feel like I couldn't be successful if I was. But mommy, I your fault. Mommy denied that opportunity. So no, I'm petite and I'm tall enough. I think I'm 5'7 right now. But yeah, I'm too old. That ship has sailed. So no, I'm not a model. I wish. A lot of people ask me that all the time. Like, why are you not a model? Why are you, why are you this? Why that? I'm like, girl, I'm old. People think like I'm in my early 20s and I'm like, uh, am I older than that? So, no, I'm not a model. In another life, you know what, Papi Khaleesi, my daughter will become a model. I'll live my model life through her, yeah. All right, guys, thank you for making it to the end of this video. That was a pretty cool video to me. Those assumptions were pretty accurate i will say that i'll give you that that was pretty accurate but i hope i cleared up some of these assumptions guys if you like this video please ensure that you like the video like hit like right now hit it i'm awake okay like this video make sure that you subscribe show you some love leave a comment like let me know if you had this assumption or what assumption you had about me um, if you like this video, I have many more videos to come. So I will see you in my next one. Have a good night. Bye.